You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to unbox an amiibo that works with Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS. And maybe for the Switch. We don't know yet. And that one would be the star of a level in Kingdom Hearts, Cloud. Not Fox McCloud, just Cloud. I have no idea what this guy is from. Probably like uh, Kingdom Hearts. Maybe he was uh, in a couple puzzle games. I think he was in a fighting game. He's from some game. Like Final Fury Fantasy Quest. I'm not sure. He's pretty popular for some reason. In fact, I heard they're remaking a game that this character is in that'll be out in 2035. Anyways, here is Cloud. And he's got like a giant sword. And he's apparently an ex-soldier. And he idolizes somebody, some guy named Zac Efron. I mean, so just Zac. I'm sorry. I played through Crisis Core. I ain't disrespecting him. Anyways, his main opponent is uh, this guy named Sephiroth. I think they they went to like the same barber once and got into an argument about it. I don't know. Anyways, this you can use this in Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, Super Smash Brothers for the new 3DS, and uh, you can level him up and use him in that game. He's pretty cool, actually. This is a pretty good character. I usually play as him if I'm like going for like a time attack or for the 100 challenge. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox him. Except, oh. Player 2 has emerged. Rather, the Player 2 Cloud. This is the Cloud from Advent Children. Sadly, we didn't get Kingdom Hearts style Cloud with all the ridiculous uh, wings and stuff. That would have been both obnoxious and perfect. But you have him in his uh, soldier gear for Shinra. And then here, is the, here he is after the events in Final Fantasy VII for the events of Advent Children where the uh, geostigma starts running rampant and uh, causing all sorts of problems after the apparent death of Sephiroth and the destruction of Genova. Um, spoilers and things. Eris dies. Anyways, here, here is the cloud. And then a little bit in the front. To the side. What's kind of funny is that uh, the Advent Children Cloud is actually slightly more realistic. Also has a slightly different Buster Sword. Let's go ahead and open these two up real quick. I mean, when they when they announced Cloud, I was like, wait, what? Because most people associate Cloud with uh, some company called Sony, which has something called the uh, Play Place or the Play... I'm not sure. Station or something like that? Yeah. Some other thing, some failed product that I think they've got like, they've tried for like four times to try and get it right. But yeah, uh, let's see. Most people consider him to be more of a mascot for them. Similar to how they they uh, perceive Laura Croft from Tomb Raider or Crash Bandicoot as being kind of Sony exclusive type characters. So it was kind of a surprise when uh, Nintendo and, Squ and Square Enix pulled this out of nowhere. I like how the Advent Children one is definitely more detailed. Definitely better sword. But this one's more classic. But this one's... Well, aside from the weird little arm armor stuff, and some more of the Nomura um, belt buckles, this one's got better hair. This one's more... This one's more cartoonish, despite having the less elaborate costume. But yeah. Kind of a weird, weird world we live in where, uh, well, let's see what it says here. Square Enix, 1997 Square Enix, Co. LHLTD, design, Tetsuya Nomura. Yeah. Maybe someday they'll add a proper um, Kingdom Hearts style cloud to the game if they port it to the Switch. Who knows? Maybe they'll port it to the Switch and be all like, Hey, here's Sora from Kingdom Hearts for some reason. And we'll all look at them and go, No! 
That's not Terra from uh, Final Fantasy VI. But yeah, uh, Final Fantasy VII was actually pretty great. It was one of the games that I eventually ended up getting a uh, PlayStation for. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I ended up getting PlayStation because I wanted to play Resident Evil and I wanted to play Metal Gear Solid. And I miss Snake. And I think Nintendo needs to bring Snake back and put Snake in Super Smash Bros. for the Switch. Come on, Konami. You can do it. You can do it. We need to get David Hayter for that, too. But anyways, yeah. Uh, what do you think? Which of the versions of Cloud is your favorite? Do you like the classic flavor or the uh, leather hotness or whatever you want to call it? The weird little leather uh, columbine jacket he's got. Or the um, suspender soldier guy. Which is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that share button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you hit the subscribe button, make sure that you ring that little bell so that you are notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.